So after a week full of earnings, here are the three stocks that stood out to me. So what's going on guys, it's Ricky here with Tactical Solutions. One of my favorite things to trade is either buying the dip on reversals to go long or shorting the highs of a reversal to go short. And in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down three stocks that stood out to me that reported earnings this week because of their significant move. You let me know down in the comment section if you agree with any of these three being something that you would consider adding to your watch list. And I wanna remind you, my goal is not for you to see value in all of these three. Maybe you can cherry pick the one that makes the most sense to you, if any. Most importantly, I really hope that you learned something new. And if you do, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing if you feel like we earned it. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. My video is gonna be short and sweet and straight to the point. One of the concepts that we talk about with an LPP are the three stages of a reversal. I personally love trading reversals, the rejection, consolidation, and confirmation stage. Now, the one that stood out to me the most for a potential dip buy, this is a trade, this is not an investment, it's Snapchat. Snapchat reported earnings and it got absolutely destroyed. So from its highs that it had, its resistance right around 1760 to the current price point of lows of $11.11 uh, $11 per share, it dropped 35%. The thing that I love about reversal opportunities is not that it has to make a full recovery, but if it does begin to even recover to the EMA, this offers about a 24% return. To the moving average, a 45% return. And back to previous resistance levels, it would offer nearly a 57% return. Now, again, I don't expect this thing to recover next week or next month or by any means, right? But the idea is to set alerts. And if this does begin to indicate signs of a reversal, then again, I can choose to watch it, set my alerts, and trade accordingly once my criteria is met. When it comes down to the three stages of reversal, there's the rejection phase when it's still continuously selling off. In my opinion, this is not a phase where you personally want to buy in, right? The cheap can always get cheaper, meaning that Snapchat can always continue to trade lower. The consolidation phase is stage two. This is when it begins to establish or show signs of a support. Even then, it's not guaranteed that it has to recover. It's just showing signs of a potential support range. But once we do begin to break above that resistance and that consolidation phase and begin to show signs of higher highs and higher lows, that's when I personally like to take the trade for a potential reversal trade, which is why Snapchat is something that I added to my watch list. And let me remind you, just because I added it to my watch list, it doesn't mean that it's something that I have to trade. Just simply something that I would like to pay attention to. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my alert here for the break above. Uh, $12.37 and I can follow up with it when it makes sense. Again, there's no reason to try to predict the future when I can simply set alerts in effort to prepare. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This is ARM. ARM was quite the opposite of Snapchat. It reacted in a very positive way after reporting earnings, meaning that from its price point to where it's at right now, it's up nearly 60%. At the peak, it was up over 70%. Now, again, this thing can continue to rise, but one of the things that I love to do is I love, love to pay attention to overbought stocks that are based off of catalyst. And once that catalyst, this being an earnings report, becomes less relevant, if selling pressure begins to kick in, then just like we saw, it did have some selling pressure when it went from highs of 126 all the way to lows of 102. So that selling pressure is there, now we just need to wait for it. Just like there's potential for a stock to recover, there's also potential for a stock to potentially correct itself. And that's what I like to look for for these potential reversal trades. It's the same concept when it comes down to the three stages of a reversal, but instead of going long, meaning buying the dip to sell for a higher price point, I would like to go short, but I wanna wait for confirmation of this thing actually getting rejected, open up a short position, and then make money as it sells off and buy to cover. Again, this is something that I cover within the LPP lesson library. The third thing, the third stock that I wanna talk about is PLTR, this is Palantir. Now, let me show you. From its previous pr trading price of lows of $16.73 to its current price point, it's up 45%. Now again, if you don't believe these stocks are gonna correct themselves, I'm not here to convince you, right? The whole point is you can set alerts and follow up with it. You don't even have to trade any of these. But if it does begin to pull on back, then you can see how people wait for reversal opportunities like this that I didn't have to predict the future of, oh man, this thing moved up 50, 60%. Great, great for all those that were invested. But now it's so overbought, look at the RSI, look at the MACD, and just look at based off of previous patterns that 
it has some pullback potential. It has the possibility that once this catalyst, this time being earnings, becomes less relevant, then therefore the demand should follow. It should correct itself, maybe pulling itself back down to the EMA, maybe pulling itself back down to previous lows. But the beautiful thing about this is that all I have to do is wait. It's not a, that I have to jump in right now. The beautiful thing about this is that I can set my alert and once I begin to see that selling pressure of this thing correcting itself, then I can choose to strike with a short position. And I love shorting these overbought stocks, not because I feel the need that they need to pull on back right when I want to short them, but I know that they eventually will. Just like anything, when something is very oversold, it tries to quickly recover. Just like when something is very overbought, it tries to correct itself once that news becomes less relevant. And this is personally why I love trading reversals. I like to keep it simple. I like to identify these opportunities, add them to my watch list, set my appropriate alerts, and follow up with it when it makes the most sense to me not necessarily to other people, because at the end of the day, it just needs to make sense to you and make sure that it meets your criteria and risk to reward ratios. Again, these are concepts that we talk about every single morning within our live trading session, and I would love to give you the ability to watch me trade live. If you wanna watch me trade live as soon as Monday, it's going to be that second link in the description down below if you want a 50% discount. And yes, it's a one-time payment, lifetime access, and you'll get to watch me trade live every single day. I also wanted to let you guys know that our Corvette C8 giveaway just started today, February 10th, and if you want your chance to win, I would encourage you to take two minutes, click the fourth link in the description down below, and again, select your uh, favorite items for your chance to win. I appreciate your time. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.